Welcome back in, and now the countdown to Election Day 2016 is on, and we're counting hours at this point. Kentucky Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes is here to talk about everything you need to know before heading to the polls. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Thank you all very much. Just a few hours, and the big day is upon us. We're excited and hopeful that others are as well to go cast their vote. Hey, what do you need to know, uh, Madam Secretary, if you're uh, going to the polls? Is there something you should bring? Are there some uh, ground rules that you should observe? We hope everybody visits the same portal that they use to register to vote, GoVoteKentucky.com, to find the necessary information. There you can see a sample ballot. You can actually get driving directions to your polling location sent to your phone, and it'll tell you the do's and don'ts. Do arrive before 6 p.m. when polls close. Do make sure you bring the necessary documentation like a driver's license, social security card, or any form of ID that has both a picture and a signature. And this year, Kentucky state law updated to provide for government issued IDs. You hear the excuses that people come up with, you know, when they say, my vote won't count, um, I don't have time during the day to do it. There are a lot of reasons that yes. people give for not doing it. Why is it so important that people vote? Well, your vote is your voice. And I've certified elections here in Kentucky. I've sat on this very couch with you all talking about recanvas after recanvas. Mm -hmm. A current governor that's there by 83 votes here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Certified elections that come down to one vote. It does matter. Here in the state, we have a ballot that is not only a federal ballot, having both president and vice president, congressional races, a U.S. Senate race, but our entire General Assembly State House, our House of Representatives, up for election as well as half of our state Senate. It's important who you're going to send uh, not only to watch over you locally, but to Frankfurt and to Washington, D.C. You can only do that if you actually drop that remote, go grab your coat based on Micah's forecast that he gave us, and actually go vote. Numerous uh, states have early voting. About, uh, I understand 40 million people have already uh, voted in this. Kentucky does not have that. You, you can vote absentee, but it's only uh, if you have uh, reasons you can certify. There's not just a... Uh, no excuse voting uh, right. in Kentucky. Uh, does that, uh, do people, you know, having to vote between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., is that restrictive? It is a constraint. It's something that I have argued to try to broaden to join the 37 other states that offer early voting without an excuse. What we've seen here in Kentucky is thanks to uh, our absentee system, which you have to provide an excuse. Uh, if you cannot make it to your precinct tomorrow because you're out of the county on election day or uh, because of sickness or illness, go down to the county clerk's office today. We've already surpassed numbers from where we were in 2012 right now with our absentee voting. Uh, with thousands of folks taking the opportunity to do that but we should be doing more and my hope is that we'll see legislation be passed in the future hopefully this upcoming session that will broaden uh, our time period and, and constraints so that especially working men and women across this state especially our students uh, they need more flexibility they can do that with early voting without having to provide an excuse and you project Very about good. a 60 percent turnout tomorrow. 60 percent turnout I hope I'm wrong I hope it's more than that 3.3 million Kentuckians registered largest voter registration role here in the state. We want everybody getting out to have their voice heard. Check out GoVoteKentucky.com and then follow us, GoVoteKentucky.com, for the returns as they come in tomorrow night. Secretary right. Grimes, thank you. Thank you guys Appreciate very much. It. Thank you.